Wise of heart is called discerning and sweetness of speech increases persuasiveness. Wisdom and speech, they combine for a great result. Which of these two do I lack? That's an important question. Or do I, at times, actually lack both? This proverb presents great men and women, a wise heart that is recognized by others, and gracious speech to communicate it to them. By these two means, you can improve the lives around you to God's glory. Wisdom should always be communicated with gracious speech and sweet words. Good teachers create good hearers, poor teachers make poor hearers. The sweetness of gracious speech causes others to listen intently. Gracious speech its necessary to win hearers. To increase the learning of others, you must acquire both practical wisdom and gracious speech. This proverb is valuable for everyone, but much more for ministers of the gospel because we are stewards of the manifold wisdom of God. Lord, put in the lips of your servants a measure of that grace that was first poured into yours. God bless you. See you tomorrow.